Oh, hey guys, we are at St. Croix Lake and we are going to get that unique muskie. So, you're going to want to spawn in fairy tale fishing here at St. Croix Lake. You're going to want to get into a boat. And then I'm going to go ahead and get to the spot. I'll fast forward to the spot and I'll meet you there. Alright okay, guys, we are back here in the corner. So on that side is the pike side. Well, on this side is the musky side. And if you don't have a boat, you can actually cast from here. Just be careful you get hooked in these weeds a few times. Um, now, I want to start off by saying if you haven't done the musky golem, I highly recommend it. I have a video on it. This is the best lure for up here, but I am going to show you four different ways total to actually get unique muskies up here. You definitely want to fish peaks, um, but for the sake of the video, I'm just going to show you where I've been throwing. Um, I have been had huge luck up here throwing just from the boat to right there, and with the musky lure, you just have to pull. There is no action. It's a crankbait. Oh, yeah. this is actually the uh, screenshot of my bag from the first day that I got the musky lure, and it is really crazy, guys. It it really pulls in um, muskies, unique muskies. It's awesome. Okay, next up is our spinner three quarter ounce six hot hut, and you just toss it out there. And honestly, stop and go works pretty good for this. I've actually um, even lift and drop or straight and slow can work if you want it to. But this one is a very good, this is the best option if you don't have the musky golem or if you had it and lost it. Our third way to catch unique muskies is actually this medium two ounce red tiger spoon. Um, I was surprised on how much good luck I actually had with this when I used it and you're going to just want to throw out to the same area with stop and go is what I've had the best luck with with this um, but like I said I would recommend the spinner over this but sometimes um, this works as well Alright guys, our fourth way, if you've seen all that splashing down there, is you could actually take shiners on an 8 dot hook and throw right into that middle where you see that splashing down there. You'll see it quite often. Um, if you, I recommend using an 8 dot hook. You can use a 6 dot hook as well. It'll help uh, kind of weed out the northern pikes a little bit because you'll get some northern pikes using this way. And actually, you can use large minnows too. I have caught one off of large minnows as well. Um, for those that like to uh, float fish, this is the one way you can float fish and succeed with these regular muskies over here. Um, so be, you want to be 50 inches down or 125 centimeters. But hopefully this will help you catch your guys' unique muskie. And... Uh, Make sure you guys are fishing peak times, guys. Good luck.